of human form of life to the fullest extent and can, can understand what is God, what is my relationship with Him, how, how I have come here, why I am subjected to birth, death, old age and disease. So many things have to be learned. So the human form of life is meant for that purpose, but there is no facility in the educational institution, many universities, uh, uh, they are maybe, but not very perfectly well situated, but we are trying our bit, this Krishna consciousness movement, to give education about this Bhagavad Dharma. And we are trying to present in so many languages, uh, so we wish that you should cooperate, try to understand this philosophy. We have got books, we have got talks. Anyway, we can convince you about this philosophy of God consciousness. I hope you will take advantage of it. Not only that, it is very easy. It is not very difficult. Uh, just like you see all our students, they uh, come from Europe, America, uh, four or five years ago. They did not know what is this Bhagavad Dharma, what is this Krishna. Now uh, you can see the result that all over the world, uh, not only in Europe, but in America, in Australia, in, German, German, in uh, Japan, in Canada, everywhere we have got this type of devotees. And they are understanding what is God, what is our relationship with God. Uh, it doesn't matter. God is neither Hindu, Muslim, or Christian. God is God. So it is the duty of everyone. It is not that only Christians should understand God and the Hindus should understand nobody. No. Any human being, any living entity in the human form of life must understand. Otherwise he is missing the opportunity. So we have got to say many things about this thing. In short time we cannot speak so many things. But we invite you uh, to take advantage of this movement, try to understand the science of God and be benefited. Thank you very much. He said that love can change dharma. You say that dharma cannot be changed. Yeah, first of all, we have to understand what is dharma. Uh, dharma, as I have already explained, the order given by God, that is dharma. And what is the order of God? Uh, God says that you surrender unto me. Manmana bhavamad bhakta madhyaji maang namaskuru. God says, that you always think of me and manmana uh, bhavamad bhakta, you just become my devotee and manmana bhavamad jaji, you worship me and you offer your obeisance. These things we are doing. We are thinking of somebody because without thinking you cannot remain. But God says you think of me. You cannot avoid thinking of somebody. Uh, just like a girl is thinking of his lover, a boy, a boy is thinking of his lover. So we must be thinking of somebody. Or in grown-up state, I'm thinking something else, my child, my home. So Krishna says, God says, that you think of me. So you have to change your thinking process. Manmana Bhavavan Thakta. And we are already devotees. We are devotee of the country, of the society, of the person, of the president, of the king, so many. God says that you become my view. Manmana bhavamadha. Madhyaji. We are worshipping our leader. So God is the supreme leader. Therefore, this question I put to Professor Kotovsky that your philosophy, communist philosophy, and our philosophy, where is the philosophically different because he has selected a leader, Lenin, and you are worshipping him. And we have selected a leader, Krishna, we are also worshipping him. So where is the uh, chain? How we have advanced? 
he has selected another leader. That's all. You have to select. So the worship must go on. Either you become communist or not communist. So God says that instead of worshiping so many others, you worship me. So and manmana bhavamad bhaktu madhyaji magna vaskur. And you offer my respect to me. So these, these things, you may uh, accept any type of religion, that doesn't matter. But think of God, worshipping God, offering obediences to God, that cannot be changed. Either you become Christian or Hindu or Muslim, it does not. These four things cannot be changed. Therefore, the principles of religion, thinking of God, worshipping God, offering obedience to Him, and to become devotee of God, that cannot be changed. That is real religion. But this part of the word Mahaprabhu is very materialistic as you know. In Europe we always talk about science and technology. The part of the world that you come from, spiritualism has the highest place. I would like to ask you, is there any possible way of a balanced combination between spiritualism and materialism? Yes. Actually, uh, there is nothing as materialism. Materialism means forgetfulness of God. That's all. Just like in the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Bhumi rapa nalo vayu khangamano buddhiri vacha apara prakhiti me bhinna asvadha. Materialism means that uh, you are dealing with earth, water, air, fire, or the ether, or mind, intelligence, so far. These are the subject matters of studying materialism. But God says they are my separated energies. Uh, these matters, they, you have not produced this earth, water, air, fire. That's a fact. That is produced by the energy of God. So, while dealing with material things, if you remember that this material thing is produced by God, then you are perfect. And if you theorize that it has dropped from the sky, then you are materialist. That is the difference between materialist and spiritualist. A spiritualist knows that where from this earth has come, where from the water has come, where from this fire has come, and then he is spiritualist, God conscious. And what do, one does not know, he is ignorant. Actually that is the fact. Uh, but one who is ignorant of the fact, he is materialist. And one who knows the source of this material element, he is spiritualist. That is the difference. Therefore, the conclusion is, one who does not know God, he is materialist. And one knows God, he is spiritual. Hare Krishna. Question? All right, Hare Krishna.